What's going on guys? Welcome back as we follow the Grand Rapids Goats of the season. One game left. Today is the finale of the regular season. The Goats come into this game 9-4-2 and, and they are taking on their division rivals, the Detroit Firebirds. And actually, this is the third time these two teams are squaring off this season. They have split hey, the Jerry. season series so far, but they'll finish the year playing for a third time. And remember, the GOATs are already in the playoffs. They have won their division easily, and now they're playing for the highest seed they can. There's only four seeds on each side of the playoffs, and obviously the top two seeds will get a home game. So all they can do is win today and hope that everything else pans out for them. And they hope to snap a two-game losing streak today. They get off to a poor start on this initial possession with Randall Cunningham taking a sack. And now the ball's in the hands of the Detroit Firebirds. And their offense is not exactly great at running the ball. Chris Warren really hasn't done too much damage to the Goats this season. Third down and 12, Lynn Dickey lines up under center. Trips left. He drops back to throw to the outside. It's caught by Anthony Carter. He's got a first down. He escaped Rod Woodson. A great throw by Dickey. And it's a first down that'll move the chains to the 35-yard line. Second down. Down and 10. Offset backfield again as Lynn Dickey throws and it's caught again by Anthony Carter. He has a first down to the 45 yard line, call it the 46. As we are nearing the end of the first quarter, Dickey drops back to throw. Deep down the right side, he has a man open, it's holed in, and he breaks a tackle of Eugene Robinson, and it's a touchdown for the Firebirds. 7 0 here as Detroit strikes first in this interstate rivalry. And now the ensuing kickoff. Back deep, of course, is Rocket Ismail back at his own eight-yard line. He'll start up the middle, and now look to the right side, and he'll escape some defenders, and now he has open space on the sideline, and he is taken down at the 40-yard line of Detroit. So a great return by Rocky of Ismail. And now it's second down and 12. As Cunningham steps up, he'll take off to run. He'll slide ahead, play it safe, and he'll take his eight-yard gain. Third and four now for the Goats as they try to keep this drive moving. Cunningham stares down the blitz and he throws downfield. It's hauled in by Ismail. Out of the 15-yard line, it's a first down. And the Goats are now inside the red zone for the first time today trying to tie this game up. Four wide for Cunningham on second and seven. He'll fire to the end zone. Wide open. It's Douglas Lloyd for the score in Grand Rapids. Ties this game about seven apiece in the second quarter. Following a Detroit 3 and out, it's now Grand Rapids ball. Second down and seven, and good protection for Cunningham as he dumps it to the right side for Dempsey Cartwright, and the fullback goes ahead to the sideline and maybe gets two yards on the catch. So now third down and five from the 34-yard line out of the shotgun as Cunningham takes the snap and looks downfield, stares down the pressure again. He finds Harper, and Alvin Harper looks like he has the first down. They'll give it to him, but uh, Detroit's going to try to See if they can get a second look at this to get it overturned. It was pretty close, so it is worth a second shot. So we'll take a look at the replay here as Harper makes the catch shy of the first down marker, but turns upfield, and I think he got it as the both coaches will look on now. And I think from this angle, he's over the yellow marker, but that is an unofficial line. And the referee is actually going to overturn this call. It's fourth down, and the Goats hunt to Detroit. That is... I don't know how you overturn that one. That's a hard way to spot the football. Nonetheless, Detroit takes over. They have another first down catch, and now are nearing midfield on third down and three. One minute to go in the half. Dickey over the middle. It's caught, and it's a first down. The drive will keep moving as time ticks away now. Under 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. Dickey slings over the middle again. It's caught by Dupree again. He's mulling this Grand Rapids secondary. They'll call a timeout after he gets the first down in field goal range. 42 seconds to go in the first half. 34-yard line, and the deep pass is holed in by Anthony Carter the 10 he's driven down to the nine yard line and Detroit looks to be in position to take the lead before halftime second down and goal and Dickey will throw and he's sacked back deep in the pocket about nine yards deep and now it's third down and goal He'll drop back from the 17 yard line and he goes down again big Jim Marshall applying pressure and it'll stop the the field goal unit to attempt a field goal to make it 10 to 7 at the break and the kick is good and Detroit does take that 10-7 lead and we'll be back shortly for the third quarter. All right, here we are. Grand Rapids of the football. 5-5 to go in the third quarter. Cunningham rolling out to his right. Has a man free on the sideline. He throws it last second, and he holds it in. Rocket is mile. Great throw by Cunningham. Just away from the outstretched arm of the defender. Trying to range over. Couldn't do it in time. And that gives the Goats the ball inside of Firebird's territory. 
And Cunningham strikes one to Jerry Rice, and that was a fantastic throw in a very small window. It's now third down and five. Cunningham to the outside, wide open is Douglas Lloyd. He runs out of bounds, and with a 10-yard line avoids contact. And it'll be second down and 12 from the 14-yard line. Very good drive right now from the Goats as Chuck Foreman is stopped in the backfield for a loss of two. Neither team really having much success running the football today. Third down and 14. Cunningham looking to the end zone. Has to get to the two-yard line at least. He'll wait and he'll throw it the last second. And it's caught by Jerry Rice. It's a touchdown. Grand Rapids takes back the lead. It's 14-10. And that was a very impressive drive throwing wise for Cunningham and the Goats offense. Detroit now playing from behind as this pass is hauled in by Anthony Carter again. He's having a great day so far. And Dickey's throwing some nice passes to everybody all game pretty much too. So second down and five hand off to Chris Warren and this isn't going to work a loss of two. Had no chance at escaping Harry Carson. And now it is third down and seven. Dickey drops back to throw. He'll go deep left side. It's tipped and it's incomplete. The Firebirds will punt, and Grand Rapids has the ball. Third down and 13. Trying to avoid going three and out deep over the middle. One-handed snag by Alvin Harper. What a fantastic catch. He gets a 10 for style points, and he gets the ball to the 26-yard line. It's now third down and 12. Cunningham needs to get to the 39-yard line. He'll go over the middle, and getting open is Rocket Ismail again in the open field, and he's got a first down to the 46-yard line. Grand Rapids in the fourth quarter is trying to churn the clock and want to get another insurance touchdown, hopefully, to make it a two-score game. Third down and nine coming up now. Four wide for Cunningham out of the shotgun. He will throw. He rolls out to his right and avoids pressure. Looks downfield. Wide open. It's Jerry Rice inside the 30-yard line. First down. Cunningham doing a great job of throwing the ball on the run today. All his throws have been on the money outside of the pocket. Third down and nine. And once again to the outside, Alvin Harper breaks a tackle inside the five and down. It's first down and goal. Two and a half minutes to go now. Second down and goal. Draw play. Foreman, touchdown. Great play call by Grand Rapids as they catch Detroit off guard. All of this throwing and all of a sudden a draw play. I'm not sure anybody really expected that to happen. Detroit now down by two scores with two and a half to go in. Dickey gets sacked from behind, and that's going to push him back. Fourth down and ten. Desperation mode for Detroit Firebirds. Dickey pumps, stands in the pocket, goes long, and it's tipped, and it falls incomplete. Goats play very good defense here late, and they'll now have the opportunity to kill the rest of this clock if they can get some first downs in a succession. And a six-yard gain on the first down definitely helps. There's one timeout out of the way and two to go. Second down and four. Cunningham's going to pass this time. Time, and he's sacked and there was three defenders in the backfield no shot there luckily there wasn't a fumble or any sort of turnover and now third and ten forward up the middle and you can't let him gas you like that on third down and ten all their timeouts are gone Grand Rapids have run the clock and now ten seconds to go Grand Rapids can smell their tenth win from here as Dickey goes down and is sacked and that would end the day and Grand Rapids does indeed move to 10, 4, and 2 on the season. They go 2 and 1 against the Firebirds in this season series. And now everybody wants to know how are they going to seed in the playoffs? Obviously, four teams from each conference make it in, and Grand Rapids goes out with a bang in the regular season. You can see the schedule. It got a little scary there towards the end with two losses in Week 14 and 15. But they did clinch their division early, and we see here that O.J. Simpson is your MVP of the league, the offensive player of the league. That's all fine and dandy, but let's see who Grand Rapids will be playing in the playoffs. They will take on the Cyclones in round one. The Americans and Top Guns are playing in the top bracket, and it's going to be an eight-team playoff, and it's going to be an exciting one. We'll see you next time, guys, in the Atlantic Conference quarterfinals. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.